Dark mode is a very popular feature nowadays. Many apps have added a toggle which allows the user to switch between dark and light mode. Although it's been influenced by developers and coders, dark mode has been adopted by giants. And let's be honest, dark mode looks cool. So in this video, we will see how we can create our own dark mode toggle in less than 10 minutes by using Next.js and Tailwind CSS. If you would like to clone the project, you can find a GitHub link on the description below. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, we just need to create our Next.js project. And in order to do that, we just need to run npx create next app latest. We're gonna hit enter. We're gonna have to give a name to our project, hit enter again. And then we are ready to start our development server by running npm run dev. And then we are ready to view our application as well on localhost 3000. Now, the next thing we need to do, we just need to install Tailwind CSS. And in order to do that, we just need to run these two commands. One is the install and one is the init in order to install and initialize. It. But before we do that, we just need to make sure that we are inside the correct folder. Once this is done, you will see a Tailwind config.js file inside your project folder on VS Code. Now, there is a template that we should have inside our Tailwind config.js file, but we need to add something more in order to have the dark mode functionality that Tailwind offers. And what we need to add, we just need to add the dark mode class just like that. So this is the one change we need to make. Now the second change, if we go inside styles and global CSS, you will have to remove everything inside here and instead replace it with these three lines as I've done as well. Now, in addition to that, we just need to run npm run dev in order to start our application. Once we finish with Tailwind CSS, the next step is to go and install Next Themes by running npm i Next Themes. Then we just need to go inside Pages, find our app.js folder, and go and import the theme provider from Next Themes. And also, we just need to wrap our component uh, with the theme provider and add the enable system equals to true and attribute equals to class. Now we can go inside our pages folder and open our index.js file. If you notice, I have deleted everything and only kept a div with a little bit of text just to make sure that my application is working as expected. But you will notice that my background color is black, but I haven't added any styling yet. So where the background color is coming from? If you remember, inside our app.js file, we have imported the theme provider from Next Themes, and also we've wrapped our component with the theme provider. In addition to that, we have added enable system equals to true, but what enable system does represent? Enable system represents the system theme preference, whether this is dark or light. And based on that, it will match our application theme. So for example, currently I have enabled the dark mode on my system and based on that, my application has the dark mode theme enabled. Let's just go back to our index.js file. First, we will need to import image from next image as we will use that for our toggle. We need to import the use state and use effect from React and also we need to import use theme from next themes. Next, we will need to add the use theme hook and also we need to add a variable called current theme, which will be checking the current system preference or will change the theme based on user preference when the user will click our button. Let's just center our text in the middle of the screen by adding another more div and some more styling. Let's just remove our text and instead add our toggle button. So, as you can see, my toggle is here. If I click, it will change to the light mode. And if I click again, it will change to the dark mode. Now, let's just go through the changes that we made here. First of all, we are just checking what our current theme is. So, if our current theme is dark, then we will display the, the button with this image. Otherwise, we will display the button with the moon image. Now, when we have the button on click, we just want to set the theme to light if we're on the dark mode, or if we're on the light mode, we just want to set the theme to dark. 
By doing it this way though, we might run into an error and this is hydration mismatch. As per the documentation, because we cannot know the theme on the server, many of the values returned from use theme will be undefined until mounted on the client. This means that if you try to render the UI based on the current theme before mounting on the client, we will see a hydration mismatch. But we can solve that by just adding these few lines. So let's just add those in to prevent this from happening. If you would like to use the exact same um, SVG files for the sun and the moon, uh, you can find them on my GitHub repo inside the public folder. I do have the moon um, and the sun SVG, but feel free to replace the SVG if you would like something different instead. Let's just add our header as well, which will be dark mode if we're on the dark mode or light mode if we're on the light mode. If you notice as well, the light or dark mode is always based on the current theme. So for example, if we're on the dark mode, the text will be white, while if we're on the light mode, the text will be black. Also, you might notice as well that the word mode is always the same color. So let's just have a look and see how we achieved this. So first of all, we are checking what our current theme is. So if our current theme is dark, we will display dark. Or if our current theme is light, we will display light. Now, when it comes to word mode, we have just applied a text color. Now, let's say that we want to apply that color only when we are on the dark mode. So all we have to do is just go and type dark, save our changes, and you will see that when we are on the light mode, the text now went back to normal and it is black, but when we go to the dark mode, the color is purple. If you want to have the same color in both modes, you just have to remove the dark class and just keep the text color. As you notice, I just removed it now. And if we switch between modes, we have the same text color. And that's it. You have a fully functional dark light mode a feature that you can add to your website or any of your projects. Of course, you can adjust the uh, toggle button to your own needs. So, for example, you can remove the um, the padding and the borders. You can change uh, the width. So let's say we want to have it uh, 12 so that will be smaller we can ch change the um, size of the image so instead of having uh, 50 by 50 we can have 20 by 20 um, and yeah you can you can play around and see what would you like and of course you can change the color of the SVG uh, for example if you want to do something like that you just have to go and find the SVG file and just change the fill color currently I've got the purple but you can do current color or any other custom color that you would like. And this is exactly what we will do on our paragraph where our text will be purple when we are on the dark mode and it would be black when we are on the light mode. And that's it for this video. You can find the GitHub repo link on the description below as well as the documentation links for Next.js, Nextheme and Telegram CSS. If you have any questions, feel free to add a comment and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Other than that, thank you very much for watching this video and if you like, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. See you at the next one.